about to head out on a ride today in the Jeep. We're going to go with the old crow from the Crafty Crow Show. Should be a real interesting day. We're going to go down and scout out a few camping spots in the Jeep. So come on, let's go. Take you along. Should be a great day. Um, we're actually going to take the whole top off the Jeep and the doors. So it should be really fun as we're fueled up. We are headed to the old crow's house now. It's gonna be a good day. Really looking forward to getting in the mountains in the Jeep, get the top off and then enjoying it all. See you there. All right, guys, we are getting ready to pull into the old crow's house. Pick him up and go for some adventure. He's gonna help me get the top off the Jeep and uh, we'll have a good day. Glad you can come along. Check with you in a few. Which, uh, I've already collapsed this door in. What not take it? Hey guys, we're here at the base of the mountain getting ready to go up into what's called Forester's Creek in Harlan County. We're going to scout out some new camps and uh, see what we can find. This be a good cut back to get shot on. Oh wait, it's to get up shot here. on. <laughs> oh, to get shot to get on. Get no, shot a shot on. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that B row footage. We might have to get you a tent just to camp up here. I was hoping to find something next to the wood line, but it's looking good. They removed it all up here. There, I see two trees on that corner. There you go. It'd be a good point. Pack your own water in, you'll be fine. You ain't gonna find water up here unless it's raining. Hey guys, we're getting up here on the mountain now. We're still not to the tallest point, but as you can see in frame behind me, this is amazing. It's one thing we take granted in Harlan County is uh, we have the highest mountains in Kentucky. It's something people don't really realize. We just stopped to take this in. I'll just pan around and show you.
can see for miles and miles from up here. It's totally amazing. Can't wait till we get to the higher point, which is up behind the Jeep. Who's that over there? That's the old crow. Just started up his YouTube channel. Go over there and show him some love. Subscribe to his channel. He's going to put out some really good content. All right, guys. Time to head back to the Jeep and head on up that mountain over there. Catch you on the top. The advantage of owning a Jeep. You can stand right in the back and get your B-roll. While we we're driving through the mountains, we've come up on an old coal mine site. It's pretty cool to see. Hate to see it dormant and not in use. Coal actually uh, was the lifeblood of this county, and uh, a lot of jobs have been lost. But it's kind of neat to get in here and see it. Um, I've never been a coal miner, so I, I don't normally get to see this stuff. <laughs> We made our way up to the pond that overlooks the coal mines. It's pretty neat. They've actually uh, captured a creek that comes out of the mountain and built a spillway that actually goes down and cascades into the pond. It's real pretty and neat. Let me show you a closer shot. This is the creek I was talking about. It's actually called Forester's Creek. It comes off the mountain and it goes down into the pond that they've set up for the old mines. It's just a beautiful location. Most people don't relate coal mining with beauty, but it's pretty, uh, pretty close to the heart here where we live. guys we're going up the mountain on a back trail and uh it was washed out too bad so now we're having to uh kind of make our own little turnaround with the jeep thank god it's a jeep check this out 
So not all trails are meant to be explored, which we just found out. Got a little too rough, and now we're kind of helping to turn around in a tight spot. But because it's a Jeep, we will be all right. Remember folks, not all vehicles are created equal. Now we're gonna test out the Jeep a little more on this four wheel trail. Still looking for some camping spots but so far this isn't looking too promising well we both like to hammock camp and uh, that's the problem with some of these strip mines they don't leave many trees and it takes many years for them to grow back so hopefully we're going to explore a little more down here where the uh, creek was that we showed you earlier and hopefully we'll find a couple good camping spots i'll catch up with you then all right we've been up some crazy trails and uh we'll just come on this and this looks very very promising so we're gonna record it and see what this looks like as we approach it. Neither one of us has seen this yet, so. Looks like the top of the world. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I see some open places. We're gonna drive on out here and look. I think this is originally the spot I was looking for. Took about a 30 minute climb to get here. Had to use four wheel drive a couple of times, but. Wow, you can see the rest of the mile right there. I believe it's definitely yeah, going to be worth this it. This is where we were trying to get. There's some views in here I've never seen in this county before. That same lot. Should be 
because that ought to be Virginia line, that tall range. Well, this is worth going through a little bit to show you what it's Yeah, well, now I'm like you, the map for looking satellite. This has to probably be at least two years of growth, if not more. Right. Um, look at the satellite, it was just that tree. <laughs> <laughs> I got a four door, I have to swing just a little <laughs> wider than the two door seats. <laughs> but yeah, it looking satellite, it looked all balled up here. I mean, everything. Oh, oh, oh imagine sitting out here like a full moon night or even a quarter moon night so you can see the stars. Imagine how many stars you can see on this flat right here. I know. Hey guys, just grab the camera real quick on top of this mountain. You ain't gonna believe this view. Check this out. We've traveled almost every bit of that road you see over there. It goes to that point. That's where we showed you it the first time. It's amazing how these mountains run. Catch y'all in a little bit. I wish the camera would give it justice that it won't. That's what we call a mountain car wash. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying riding with us in the mountains of uh, Harlan, Kentucky. It's, uh, it's a different experience. You get up these old logging and mining roads. Companies pull out and they leave it wide open for us. Try to find us a little off trail here. Go down it and see if we might find a camping option. Definitely a place to hang a hammock. Probably try it. Right, guys as you can see we're back on the pavement it was a bus there's nowhere to camp in Forester's Creek that's a good but uh there was a lot of roads a lot of uh, mining roads logging roads we explored it was beautiful the footage just can't give it justice on how nice it is but uh we really enjoyed it we're thinking maybe in the fall going back up on that big flat and camp where uh, we can see the stars and stuff won't be hammock camping we'll have to do it in a, in a tent or even maybe sleep in the Jeep. But uh, we're definitely gonna go ahead and head back out to Harlan and uh, wrap this one up. Video in the back of my shirt. Forgot to show off my uh, Cades Cove Jeep shirt. So, what goes off, let's go back on. Time to put the top on. <laughs> One of the cool things about a Jeep, the JL model, is we've got this secret little place back here to load all your bolts, keep them organized so you don't lose them until you have your top off.
eight volts total holding the top on the Jeep JL. The top weighs 98 pounds on the four-door model. I'm not sure on the two-door. It's really convenient if you have a buddy that can help you take it off. It's, I've not been able to do it by myself yet. Don't really have a place to store it either. And that's putting the top back on. Doors next. Alright guys, a lot of time people's putting their doors back on and they push the hinge back in. They can't figure out how to pull it back out. You can uh, use pliers and pull. It takes a lot of strength. I'm going to show you a trick how I do it. It's a lot easier. Watch this. Alright guys, as you can see there, the uh, hinge to the door is pushed all the way in. A lot of people try to pull it back out, but that's as far as it'll go. It's really hard to pull with pliers. Now if you'll just take the door line up the hole a little bit close it as far as you can go ahead and put your bolt through let's see if i can do this from here i'm gonna have to be in the vehicle you can line that up get your fingers in there just enough to thread it on you might have to jiggle the door a little bit to play with the threads you can use it to pull your hands back out and it's a lot easier so that's a little cheap trick there I've learned over the past couple years of owning this thing. You can just touch your bolt down and you're ready to go. After that, just put your plug back in and just strap. If you want it on there, a lot of people don't. I do. Because on the hills, your door will come back and smack you. And that's it. Doors are on, and there's the old crow. Got anything to say, old crow? Tell them about your channel you just opened up. It's had a new channel opened up. It's called the Crafty Crow Show. If y'all don't care, check me out. Uh, me and Jason here be doing plenty of adventures together, plus our individual content. Hope you had a good time today. Hope you enjoyed being with us, enjoying the beauty of Harlan. Hopefully, we'll see y'all pretty soon. Yeah, and I'll leave a link down in the description to the. Uh, old crow's channel and you can catch them it's gonna have a real good channel i'm excited about it i'm gonna head home and subscribe myself anyway y'all have a good one appreciate you watching be sure to like subscribe and share it's been jason from man's adventure it's been a hot one see y'all